Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Wellston High School, Game 2 of Ohio High School Athletic Association Division 4 Boys Basketball here at Wellston High School, Coach Jim Darrow Court. I'm Bub Norris, and uh, Mr. Brian Bear was gracious enough to come all the way from South Carolina. North Carolina. North Carolina. South, I was in South North Carolina. You were in South North Carolina. I, right okay. on the Georgia border, yeah. It's like being east on the western side, right? <laughs> Something like that. But, <laughs> so, um, either way, it was seven and a half hours. <laughs> but drove all the way back from South Carolina, North Carolina, in the <laughs> southern part of South Car North Carolina. We'll get it right in a minute. Yeah. And uh, to join us here today. And, uh, Brian, it's a pleasure to have you on the show here with oh, us I'm, this afternoon. I am so excited. And if any, the rest of these games go like the first game against Notre Dame and Trimble, we're going to have, man, it was exciting. A great game. Exciting. Trimble ended up winning that game by one point, And they actually trailed throughout the course of the game by 11, but they kept battling and battling. And as you know, I was speaking to some of the coaches uh, earlier uh, in, the, uh, in the hospitality room. You know, they, it's very uncharacteristic of them to have the turnovers that they had in the first half and missed free throws in the first half, but they battled through and came out on top. Good teams always rise to the top and make adjustments when needed, and everything's not, you know, you hope everything would go perfect uh, in tournament time, and sometimes it does, but most of the time at a neutral site, a new floor, the intensity of the game, things just happen. Folks, we're just about ready for tip-off here uh, for game two. At Wilson High School, Coach Jim Darrow Court, the Federal Hawking Lancers and the Western Indians getting ready to tip it up here in just a moment. We have the National Anthem uh, going to be played right now, so we want you to stay right here with us uh, during the National Anthem, and we'll be right back right after that. Welcome back, sports fans, once again to Wilson High School, Coach Jim Darrow Court for Game 2 of Ohio High School Athletic Association uh, Boys Tournament Basketball. Game 2, we have the Western Indians and the Federal Hawking Lancers. Western Indians, uh, Brian, come in here with a record of 12, uh, 22 and 2. And 2. And Federal Hawking, I believe, was 16 and 5. 16 and 5, yeah. Something like that. So, again, looking for another amazing matchup here this afternoon. Um, two good, two good programs. Federal Hawking has been a good basketball school for many, many years. Yeah. Western has has made the turn and doing very well. Also doing very well. They have a lot of seniors. Uh, Western been able to watch them uh, a lot this year, and uh, they are defensively one of the best teams I've seen in the area. They're going to come out and give it 110 percent. And I look, I look for a really good game. The four seed Western Indians again come in with a share of the SOC one. Uh, conference title with Sims Valley, and the, the other loss in the year was against New Boston. Uh, oh, so wow. they lost to Sims Valley. That's been New, an upset that game. That, that was uh, it was at New Boston, a very close game. Mm -hmm. uh, it was one of those games. Uh, talking to coach, that uh, was everything went wrong that could have went wrong that night, and you had those games, but oh, they yeah. were able to bounce Absolutely. back, play some great uh, basketball. They've come off against a great win against Miller. And uh, federal hawking, of course, uh, everyone knows what happened. It's a viral <laughs> half-court shot heard around the world. Sure. Uh, the Lancers pulling off a tremendous upset to take the share of their conference title against Trimble. And uh, so it's going to be a great matchup, I think, here, four versus five. Again, we want to shout out to um, APG Media of Ohio for sponsoring all of today's basketball action here at Wellston High School, Coach Jim Court. 
Uh, again, if it wasn't for them sponsoring this, we would not be able to do this and make it a free um, free telecast uh, for all the fans out there today. So a big shout-out again to APG Media of Ohio. We're just about ready to get uh, this game two underway here in a moment. But before we do, I want to send a big shout-out to, 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 to our church, Rubyville Community yeah. Church. Yeah. Um, I've said it everywhere I go, and you've heard me say it everywhere I go. Yeah. I think it is the greatest, if not one of the greatest churches in the country. And you're an associate pastor there and Pastor Calray. It's just an absolutely amazing place, an amazing church. And if you have no place to go tomorrow morning, <laughs> there you if go. you don't have a home church, we invite you to go there. So um, there, I just had to get that I had, in. Had, I had so. to put that plug in there, didn't you? <laughs> it's okay. And you know I say that everywhere I go. I know it, so, yeah. <laughs> you guys are great people. Appreciate that. And great that. pastors and a great church. And uh, now, back to basketball. Here we basketball go. Basketball 30. As uh, Lou Hovath would say, basketball 30. That's right. So we're ready. I picked up a clock on the outside at the parking lot, and it said basketball 30. <laughs> That's what he would say. <laughs> All right, eight minutes on the clock. Officials take their place, and we're ready to roll. Ball goes in the air. Tap. Controlled by Federal Hawking. Out top, number 25, and we're going to try to get all these players for you here. Try to get them named correctly. Number 25 out top with the ball for the Lancers, and that is Andre Crockwell. Pass over to number three, and that is Cottrell. Western come down the man-to-man -man defense. There's a quick three there. Quick three by the Lancers, Cottrell. number three, Cottrell, to put the Lancers on top three to nothing early. Just getting action underway here. Game two at Wilson High School. Brian Bear on Bub Norris bringing you your action live tonight or today via BMG Media. Federal well, Hawking in a man to man defense. Western with three seniors starting on the floor. No wit. Nice pass inside from to uh, Drew Haggy, freshman. Drew Haggy with the first points for the Western Indians. As we mentioned, three seniors on the court for Western. No Witt, number 30. Reed Brewster, number one. And Colton Miller, number 13. Those three know each other ever since they were young boys. Played together all the way through. So, good team chemistry. Chase Carter, number 42, is a sleeper. He's tremendous un under the uh, basket. Very physical presence. Also has the ability to shoot from the outside, too. So, that could be a game changer for the Indians today. Federal Hawking being very patient with the basketball as Western's in a man-to-man -man defense. 25 up for the shot and nails it. Nice shot from the elbow. Crockwell. Crockwell puts the Lancers up 5-2, to two, your score. <clears throat> Miller with the ball on the left wing, passes it out top to number 42, and that would be Carter. Brewster with the ball. Pass inside to number 30. Witt shot up. No good. Rebound Lancers. Great defense there by Kearns. Excuse me, not by Kearns, by Cottrell. As he was able to uh, cause uh, Witt to kind of have to go, you know, off-centered a little bit for, to the basket. Lancers are a very wiry, scrappy type looking team as number three is not the biggest kid on the floor. And we're speaking of a uh, Cottrell for the Lancers, but a great ball handler for them. We have a foul on the play. Call that on Haggy. That's his first. And he's a freshman. That's a big moment for him being in a setting like this with packed house. Number two to the drive of the paint. Shot good. Did a great Seven job. I'm sorry. Did a great job to uh, avoid the charge call there as Carter was set up, but he was able to work his way around him and able to get the lay in. Good no call there by the officials. Brewster has great ball handling skills. Nice pass. Wow. <laughs> nice look inside to Haggy. Haggy with the score. Good looking kid for only a freshman. My goodness. Four fifty-five to go here in the first quarter. Loose ball on the floor. 
We have a held ball situation. Call that a jump ball. It's going to be Western ball. You're going to see all night long as we look at the replay here. Nice pass from Brewster into Haggy. Brewster is the quarterback on the court for the Indians. Just tremendous ball handler and a great passer as well. And you can't leave him open. Uh, everyone on this Western team can shoot from the outside. And we know Hawking as well is uh, playing with confidence right now. You they know? sure are. Nice move by Carter. Carter's shot is good. Indians cut it to one, seven to six your score with 4.30 to go in the first quarter. Carter with a great post move on Rodgers, able to get him off his feet, and it was pretty much over after that. Kotzer with the ball out top for the Lancers. Over to Smith. Back to Kotzer. He looks at a three, hesitation dribble, passes to the corner. Shot in the air, no good. Rebound Lancers, shot up again, and score. Number 33 on the putback for the Lancers, Rogers. Was able to get the rebound off the missed shot and put it back up awkwardly and got it, able to get it to fall. Rogers uh, listed at 6'5", senior. Definitely the tallest on the court out uh, for both teams. Aggie with the ball for the, the Indians. Drives to the paint. Shot goes up. No good again. Wow, really good looking player as Haggy, the freshman for the Indians. Um, doesn't look like a freshman at all. No, he doesn't have the, the physical presence or the you know, on-court presence of a freshman. He, and he has started all year long. And a great asset hmm. to this team and a great asset for the future for Coach Williams. Normally Western from the line, I hate to jinx them here, but <laughs> the way from the line there, they do a really good job as we see the nice play to the basket there, able to draw the foul number two, Lane Smith. Haggy's sec second shot. The rims are user-friendly. Rolls that one down. 3.43 to go in the first quarter. Nine to seven, your score. Lancers on top by two. Pass under the basket, wide open. Shot is good. That's Earhart with the, uh, the nice pass from from Crockwell terrific crowd on the hand here once again this afternoon for this ball game number 13 on the score and that is Miller cuts it to a two-point ball game 9 to 11 is your score number 25 beautiful spin move to the basket good defense there by Miller may have missed a travel call Indians come away with yeah. it there's going to and be a foul. As a coach, yeah. Brian, a foul that far away from the basket, you just got to ask yourself the question, why? And the coach is, coach is talking to him right now. Yeah. Why would you foul that far away from the basket? That's going to be on Crockwell, his first team second. And he gets a, um, a seat right beside the, the coach for that little move. So. And we, <laughs> you see that so often with young players. They get, they get frustrated. And... I call it a frustration foul. That's basically what it is. That's exactly it is. what it is. There's no need for it, and you just lose your cool. Brewster. Rebound by Witt. Indians controlling the glass at the moment. Come away with a big couple of offensive rebounds on that series. Shot blocked. Great defense there. By Rogers, Still again by the end end. Shot up, score, no. Rolls around, no good. Man, he about got that to roll. The M.O. of the Western Indians all year is they will pick you up. They will not stop on defense. There's another look there by Haggy inside to Carter with the end. Almost got the end one. They will drive the ball. They will take the open three when necessary, but... They like to drive the ball and try to cause these teams to get into foul trouble. And that's going to play well in tournament time, I believe, because, you know, you got a lot of these uh, seasoned players, se seniors, that if they get in foul trouble early, it could be a lot of trouble. Carter tying it up for the Indians. We're all tied at 11. 2.20 to go here in the first quarter. 
Crockwell with the ball for the Lancers. Nice crossover dribble out top. Close to being stolen. Pass down into the basket. Good spin move. Shot up. Score. Nice the, shot by Smith. Yeah, Smith. Lane Smith with the put up. And score for the Lancers. 13 to 11, your score with a minute 58 to go in the first quarter. Brian Bear on Bub Norris bringing you your action this afternoon from Walston High School coach Jim Darrow Court, Division IV Boys High School basketball action. I got to get the elephant out of the room. What's a Lancer? Lancer is a form of a soldier. Okay. Uh, like a knight? A knight in armor. Okay. Yep. I just had to get that out of the way. <laughs> no extra charge. Inquiring, running, right? inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> Good Indians defense. with a steal. Wow. Good lot looking of, series, not yeah, able to finish. A lot of missed opportunities here early for the Indians. Might come back to haunt them. They still need to pick up, continue that great pressure defense they're playing. Minute 15 to go in the quarter. 13 to 11, your score. Lancers by two. Backdoor play to the rack. Shot score. Cottrell. Again, he's that little wiry guy, smallest guy on the floor, but, man, he is everywhere for the Lancers. He leads all scores with five on the Lancers. Quick foul here on Lane Smith. He'll pick up his second foul. That'll have some substitutions as Earhart comes back in. And then also we have checking into the game Gage McVee coming into the game and substituting in for Lane Smith who picked up his second foul with 58 seconds left in the quarter. Ball inbounds to number four for Western. That is James. Turnover by the Indians. To the rack shot score. 45 seconds to go. 17 to 11 to score. And Lancers on top. Got to be a foul. Crockwell tried to dunk. Missed the dunk. Fans are about on their feet ready for something <laughs> to happen here. That could have been a. I'm on my feet too yeah, because these seats are too hard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good defense there by the Lancers. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> if we can maybe get a replay oh on that one. Oh, my. Quick, not sure if we can Cole or not. Miller coming in from behind. <laughs> Watch this. this. Behind the, the back timing. pass. Two points. Swap. Wow. Get that out of here, he oh. says. <laughs> what a great defensive play. This has been a defensive Defensive game here for both teams. Nice cut to the basket. Very well executed out-of-bounds play by the Lancers. No good. So, wow, what a wow. first, first, uh, quick first quick quarter. quarter, rather. 19 to 11, your score. Lancers on top, and this game has all indications that it's going to be very similar to the previous game. Very, very aggressive defense from both teams, and then they love to get it out and go. And so these teams are going to be matching up pretty well. It's, it's all, you know, who's going to be able to be able to keep up the intensive <laughs> defense, and then also the, uh, you know, Western had plenty of opportunities they underneath did. and just did not convert. Or this game could be tied up right now. And again, a big shout-out to our sponsor for making today possible, APG Media of Ohio. Again, we wanted to make these uh, games today all free of charge, uh, watching them online, uh, social media, and or YouTube. And uh, they stepped up to the plate, and uh, this is the reason why we're able to do what we do today. Eight minutes on the clock. We're ready to get second quarter action underway. Federal Hawking Lancers 19, Western Indians 11. Brian Bear, I'm Bub Norris, bringing you your action this afternoon from Boston High School, Coach Jim Darrow Court. Bob, I don't, I'm not sure, but looking over to the western side, I think all of Latham is here. <laughs> they about like uh, they love their Indians. Yeah, last night I went over and uh, observed some officials last night at Southeastern, and I think all of Vinton County was there watching <laughs> yeah. the Lady Vikings last night. Got gotcha. you. 
Lancers inbounds the ball, number 25. Nice defense by Witt. Well, good no call and a score. Witt with the turnaround after losing his footing there, just slipped a little bit, but was able to keep his pivot foot. That was, that was integral of them not calling that travel. Six-point lead. 19-13 your score. Lancers, three-point shot from the corner. No good. Rebound. Indians. Witt, Witt coming down with the rebound. Ahead to number 13, and that would be uh, Miller. To the left corner, and that would be Brewster. Looking inside, back out top to 32. Back over to number 13 on the far side, Miller. Back out top to Witt. Witt drives the paint, reverse spin, shot up. Score, again, there's those user-friendly rims here at Wells High it. School. Love it. <laughs> As so. Bill Raptor would say, with the kiss. <laughs> We don't make that kind of money there, do we? No, we don't, unfortunately. <laughs> 6.40 to go here in the second quarter. Lancers shoot a three. Again, Ooh, those <laughs> friendly rims. Bounce that one down, 22-15 your score. That was Gage McVee with the three from the corner. Nice stop and shot. Yeah. Gavin Myers with the bucket underneath after the Colton Miller miss. And... The uh, Western Indians doing a great job on offensive boards here, being able to not do something they, were, they weren't able to do in the first quarter, which is get some offensive rebounds. You know, Brian, I'm able, I, I can understand why or how the Lancers beat the Tomcats here a week or so ago. Very I, good basketball I have team. No, I have no reason to doubt that. Uh, they, um, they're not playing like a four seed. At today. all. Excuse me, a five seed. Six minutes to go here in the second quarter. 22-17, your score. Ball up the court to number 42 to Carter. Carter dishes off to number 13, and that's Miller. Ball loose on the floor. Fans are wanting it tipped, but I didn't see a tip. I don't I, know if I, we can get a replay on that quick enough or not. Looked like Crockwell may have tipped it, but I believe a Western player had possession after the initial tip. We might so, take a look at that one in just yeah. a moment. Cottrell with the ball for the Lancers. Number two, Sean Kearns from the Indians has checked in, and he is a defensive problem. Crockwell with the shot. No good. Rebound, Indians. Ahead to Brewster. Brewster over to Witt. Makes a hesitation step. Shot to the basket. No good. Put back. No good. Foul on the play. That's going to send number 42 to the line for the Indians. Carter. They call that on number four, Caden Chapman. Here's our previous over yeah. and back. Didn't look like it was. Um... Yeah. Well. <laughs> looked, like, uh, looked like Crockwell may have gotten a hand on it there. <laughs> 5.23 to go in the, the second quarter. 22-18 your score. Again, this game shaping up just like the previous game today. Second shot up by number 42, no good. And that's uh, Carter. Number three driving to the rack. Shot, no good. Put back, no good. Put back again, and we have a foul. Man, both teams just, this is the kind of games you like watching. Just well, the old thing is you either win or go home, right? So, I mean, you got to – they're – both teams are just playing with everything they got in them. 5-13 to go in the second quarter, 22-18 your score. I think they've called that on Colton Miller. Earhart to the line for the Lancers. Not positive about that. Okay, they call that on Witt instead. Nope. So in, in tournament times, are both teams allowed to have a score? But then there's an official scorekeeper. Yeah. Then you have to go okay. by the, you have to go to by the official book. Okay. And the official book does have a say in the matter. Okay. 
if none of the officials knows who the foul was on. So what the officials could have done in that situation is got together as a crew, talked about it, got it right, which they got it right, I believe, just anyway. Yeah. But if that doesn't work out, then you can turn around and look to the bookkeeper and say, hey, who did you have it on? And if, if they know, okay. then if they have actual knowledge, then they right. go with that. If they don't. And they did correct it and call that yeah. on Colton Miller. So it looks like that was the correct play, which he was. I think that was correct. So Earhart's shot is good. Brewster with the ball for the Indians. Six-point game with 5.05 to go in the half. Look for Western to be a little bit more patient here, maybe drive it to the rim and draw some more fouls. Went to the rack. Got the Rolls roll. Rolls it in. <laughs> he loves that. He loves that little kiss. <laughs> Soft rims, man. <laughs> Love it. Shooters, Back to a four-point ball game. Shooter's paradise. Four thirty-five to go. Drive to the paint. Got to have a whistle. Well, whether the official got the call right or not, he sure sold it. That's for sure. He, and that's what we always taught everybody yeah. to do. He was he was over there in time. I just don't know if he turned <laughs> his hip there. Let's see. Oh, uh, oh. yeah. Pretty bang bang. <laughs> <laughs> Hardest cone basketball to it make sure is the block is. We need the circle. We need the circle. <laughs> <laughs> if there's a circle there, it's a block yeah, automatically. Mean, yeah. Score by the Lancers, number 32. That was Earhart. Earhart with a putback, yeah. Back to a six-point game. There's Rodgers. He's going to pick up his third the second foul. Miller did a great job there. Watch this. He uh, came around, tried to throw it up there. And are they going to call it in the act of shooting? Yes. They are? Yes. Okay. Anytime, uh, again, the, the some people are going to laugh when I tell you this. Okay. But a shot actually starts when you gather the ball. That's the shot. Okay. That's the process of the shot. Process so he had already shot. gathered the ball. Now, whether he, when he goes up through with it, it that's a, just a continuation. So a shot actually sure. starts. When you gather. So when you pick that ball up, that's the act of shooting. That's the act. So that's when okay. it starts, and that's the reason he's at the line shooting too. I'm glad we have you today to make, you know, <laughs> clear out any Now you're learning just a little bit more, right? Oh, right. that thing used every inch yeah, of the rim. And, and <laughs> every other shot <laughs> fell in like that. <laughs> Western needs a good stop here. To go in the half. Five-point game where the Lancers are very athletic. Very quick. Very athletic. Every one of them can handle the ball, too, is what I'm impressed with. Good opportunity for Western to kick it inside with Rodgers on the bench. Tell you, the Western Indian uh, faithful really love Coach Williams. He has done a tremendous job turning this program around. And really taking pride in uh, in that school. It is a tight knit community out there, and they love their basketball. Fouls on number three, Cottrell. Letting the officials sort this thing out here. Yeah. Be a one and one is be a bonus already. So, uh, gentlemen, there, the referee, after the uh, initial call, just kind of waited a second and seen what number three was going to say. <laughs> well, what we teach the officials to do, Brian, in that okay. situation is give your post call, right. okay, then just stand there and watch. Make sure you get your numbers correct before you go to the table. Yeah. And that appeared like maybe what he was doing at that time. Yeah, because the, the banks are open here this afternoon. Yeah, exactly by the way. right. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> it's Saturday, but they're open all day. He, he was bent over. You know, the player wasn't his, you know, he was facing the official, so it's hard to tell what number he, he was. Second shot is good. good. Haggy having a really tremendous game. Leading and only a freshman. Yeah, a freshman. Just wow. Tremendous player. Very quick. You could tell he's got, you know, 
he does his uh, does his time in the weight room. Turnover, Lancers. Haggy comes away with it. Good job to give that up. That could have been a, a carry there. Miller for three. <laughs> Makes it even more interesting. We're all tied up here again. What a great shot by Miller. There's the defense we're talking about. Double dribble, and he got away with it. Okay. Carter for three. Nope. I'm telling you what. I. They are playing yep. like it's... It's the live or die. Here's a open Miller. Actually, he was he was defended. The defender wasn't out on him. And I guarantee Federal Hawkins coach is going to remind them you can't you got to guard these players. We have a 30 wow. second timeout on the court, and Brian again. This game is shaped up just as the previous game. 26 to 26 is your score. Brian Bear on Bub Norris bringing you your action this afternoon from Wilson High School. Coach Jim Darrow Court as the Western Indians and the Federal Hawking Lancers are all tied up at 26 apiece. And the packed house here this afternoon. Oh, I love this it. This great high school Intensity, tournament action. Just awesome. You can tell both teams respect each other and their abilities. And then uh, the, the, the defensive intensity from both teams has just been off the charts. Their warm-up shirts for the Western Indians really kind of says it all. Yeah. The back of their jersey, attack. attack. And that kind of says it yep. right now because that's exactly what they are doing. Getting a little bit chippy out there. Yeah, they're um, letting them play. But uh, but they're making the right calls, I believe. I... Kotcher with the ball for the Lancers. Guarded by Haggy. Pass out to the left wing to number 23. And that is uh, McVeigh. Back out top to number 25 over to Kotcher again. We have a foul on the play. Going to be on Haggy. He's going to pick up his second. Probably got a little bit handsy there. They'll let you go so far, but. <laughs> Anytime you have two hands on a defender. Right. If you're, even if you're not uh, impeding his progress, it's an automatic foul. Right. That, change, that rule changed about four years ago. You have two fans on a defender, and it's right. automatic. Nice Number 25 shot. with a little shake and bake. Tell you, that kid, he's a player now. Crockwell for the Lancers. Crockwell, a 6'1 senior, six points on the day. But he's made his presence known defensively. And just his uh, charisma on the court until it gets under the skin of the opposing player. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say that kindly. Oh, Miller. Woo! Miller with three. Ooh. Puts right the in, Indians back on top. Right in the way. eyeball there. His defender. One thing about these Western Indians, and uh, we can tell with the Federer Hawking, these are two great team basketballs, uh, basketball teams. They play team basketball. Witt takes a hard fall there into the uh, scores table. Minute 37 left to go here in the half. This half has gone rather quickly, seems like. Yeah, and, and we've had you know several. Well, we got 11 fouls called, so it's not like it's not been nothing called. So yep, there we go again. Yeah, they're going to tighten this thing up a little bit yeah. because it's gotten a little bit chippy here in the first half. Minute 32 to go in the half. Let me ask you this question: Do 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 referees come together and say, okay, let's tighten this up a little bit? At or, some point in the time, we have done that over the course of the career. And some, what we'll do is just make a fist clamp okay. to each other sometimes on the court. Okay. Say, hey, that's we need to eight. clamp it down okay. a little bit. Things are getting a little bit out of hand. And that's true. They were. They, they were obviously getting chippy out there. If things can get out of hand, then you don't want, you don't want fans getting involved. That's Crockwell with the ball. Passes off to the left. Shot three-point air. No good. Rebound Lancers again. Steal by the Indians. With we'll the runaway. Ooh, what a block. Offensive play. Let's we'll see what he comes up with. No, they're going to call block. 
or on the arm maybe. Let's see what we got here. Here's the great block. This call could have gone either way. Boom. Um, oh, they. Yeah. Not sure what he called on that play. Let's see here. But anytime a anytime a, a player uses their strength to back another player down, as it was on that play, typically uh -huh. that call goes the other way. But not in this case. The defender did a great job of selling it. He sure did. Yeah. One oh two to go. In the first half, 30 to 28, your score. Western Indians on top by two. The key to this, the end of this half, and the key to the next half, I believe, is these coaches to try to tell their young players, keep your cool. Because these defenders, you know, both teams are going to, they're going to get, as we the old saying goes, get in their jock. <laughs> they're going to, I yes, mean, they're, they're going to be right in their face. And, you know, you, you got Kearns down here, number two, he's face guarding number three, and he's not letting him go. And that builds Co frustration. Cockrell's, Cockrell's got to be very careful yeah. right here. He just uh, tried to shove an Indians player, and no official caught it. Okay. He has got to be real careful with 48 right. seconds left to go. That is automatic ejection if he gets caught. He needs to be very careful. Yeah. Miller's been feeling it, but Nice move inside by James. Yep. He's going to get found right on the arm. And now yep. the federal hockey players, they're showing their frustration. They're going to have to get a handle on it. 34 seconds to go in the half. Western Indians up by three. 31-28 your score. James to the line to shoot two. First shot on the way. No James, good. James also a freshman. There's a oh move inside. It's really something to have two freshmen. They got a lot of confidence in Haggy and James. They, they play a lot of minutes, and James the Southpaw is uh, he can he can he can light it up. And right on cue, he misses the foul shot. Wow, <laughs> nice nice rebound. Yeah, put it up strong. It's what you got to do. Just great defense there. And there's going James. Yep, there's the body check we yep. talked about. The uh, officials of. Have obviously made some communication, and uh, they're going to tighten this thing down a little bit, and rightfully so. Yeah, rightfully so. You officiate as the players warrant you to do. Right. Meaning that if that game gets chippy, they force you to call it every trip, and the officials are doing a good job of that, stepping up their game right along with the intensity of the game. Right. Twenty-five Kern, seconds. Kearns comes in for James, who picked up his second foul there. Fourteen seconds left. Oh wow! Nice move. Nice move to the rack. Cockrell. Yep, at the buzzer. Lancers take a steal late and go for right. the layup score to put the Lancers on top at half by the score of thirty-two. 32. The 31, wow. what and a, you can see, man, this gymnasium's rocking this afternoon, What an Ryan. ending there to that half as the nice lay and got the roll, Lane Smith, and then the steal by Cottrell. The nice, easy lay in, and then the... Uh, Crockwell, that's, that's number 25. Crockwell, Crockwell. Yeah, Crockwell. Western crowd wanted a uh, some sort of a call there on the rim. So we are uh, nine minutes and about 45 seconds away from second half action here tonight. Again, we want to send out a shout for our sponsor here today, uh, APG Media of Ohio. Thank you for sponsoring all of today's basketball action here at Wellston High School, Coach Jim Darrow Court. Uh, again, we wanted to make this option free to the public so people obviously wouldn't have to pay for it. A lot of people don't have the means to do so, Brian. Yeah. So production manager uh, and uh, owner, Michael Gray said, hey, we want to try to do this for nothing so people can watch this, and it's been a, a tremendous Wonderful. thing so far. We've got a lot of response on the uh, feeds, uh, the first game and even this game, people watching and really appreciative of BMG and also APG Media uh, for sponsoring this. I mean, it's, it's a long day for, uh, for BMG and then also those that are here uh, being a part of this, and uh, it's 
it's just great. It's just great for the community, great for both schools, and great for the other teams that's yeah. in the tournament as well. All the, I mean, all the teams in Southern Ohio. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna lay the headsets down here for just a few moments and uh, regroup, and we'll be back here at about the three minute mark.
Welcome back, sports fans, to Wellston High School. Coach Jim Darrow Court, Brian Bear, I'm Bub Norris, bringing you your action here this afternoon. High school basketball at its best, tournament action, Division Four. Brian, first game today, um, great game. The Trimble Tomcats win by one um, over the Portsmouth Notre Dame Titans. And now to this afternoon, the second game, what a tremendous matchup as well, 32-31. to 31 the Western Indians, and the Federal Hawking Lancers. It's been great basketball in both, both games so far. Both teams, uh, all four teams, rather, I should say, have just played their hearts out. And, you know, Notre Dame has nothing to hang their head on. They played a tremendous game and did everything they could to keep in that game and had a chance even in the end there. Um, and, and then in this game, we've seen some defense – uh, unlike we've seen all year, it's been From both teams. Both teams, just unbelievable defense, and, and and that's, you know, Western because of their defense have been able to, you know, make the points and and really, I think in the locker room, I'm sure Coach Williams is probably telling them, hey, make those shots on the inside. Yep. Uh, Finish around the basket. Yeah, because we yeah, and they were they started to turn that on there in the at the at the end of the first half, and so uh, things were getting a little chippy. We kind of mm -hmm. commented about that and. I look for uh, the intensity of this to keep up. And then hopefully, you know, right now, both teams not in any foul trouble. Uh, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. And we'll see how the officiating continues as they've done a great job controlling this game, not letting it get out, out of hand. Again, as far as the officiating is concerned, you made mention, when you get to this level, I mean, so your, your upper echelon officials are going to be right. the ones working these games. And as you made, already made mention, uh, very well officiated. The first game today was very well officiated. This game has been very well officiated. And we expect it right. to continue on that way. So I, I think both – I think both, what I've seen and what I've heard from, you know, on the street, as the saying goes, a lot of people just want it to be consistent and they want it yes. to be even. Yes. And that's what we've got. So now let me ask you this. I know normally during the regular season you have – your crews, quote unquote. Yes. Usually, the same three guys go to the, these games. Is that the way it is in tournament time, or is uh, it? No, it is not. Okay. What they will do is they will they will grade officials through the course of the year okay. um, a, on a tier basis. You'll have okay. A, B, C tier officials. So, out here today, you'll have um, an official that would be an A tier, considered to be the best one, right. and B and C right on down the line. Okay. So, but a lot of these guys are equal. When you get to this level, right. your, your district your district officials. Um, are all very pretty similar uh, in their capabilities and, and, and right. being able to officiate. So, yeah, saying that, we're uh, underway here with right. seven uh, just Ooh. getting third quarter action underway. It's exciting. Looks like both starting fives are on the court for, for both teams. There's a quick foul, offensive and foul. And there's that call Brian we spoke about in yeah. the first half. When, you, when you're a post player and you back a player down and you need a little extra to give him a left extra little bump, yeah. Most of the time, they're going to call that as a uh, player control, team control foul. Miller is unhappy, uh, picks up his second foul, but I think the replay would show that it's uh, it was a clear call there. Crockwell with the ball for the Lancers. Guarded by Miller. Pass to 33, and that would be... Rogers. Rogers. Mm -hmm. Crockwell with the ball. Back out top to Cottrell. And like we saw at the very beginning of this game, Fed Hawk being a little bit more patient on the offensive side of the ball. As the game went on there in the first half, they, it was basically just street ball, you know, there for a while. Up and down the court, there's Cro Crockwell, Crockwell with the score in the paint. You can tell he's a player. 34 31 your score, Lancers. Ten points for Crockwell. Witt back out top to 42. Miller, is that correct? No, that's uh, Carter. Carter, I'm sorry, yep. All tied up, 34 apiece. He's the big man underneath, but he can, he can knock it down with the best of them. None of these players from the Indians are afraid to shoot it from outside. Good ball movement by the Lancers on the offensive end. I love Got how they're with the ball. I love how they're not having sticky fingers. They're, they're getting rid of it. There's Crockwell. Might have forced that a little bit. Rebound whip ahead to Brewster. 
Back over to Whip. Nice cut. Nice cut and pass and score. Indians back on top by two. Gives Whit eight points for the game. I have a feeling it's going to be about this way the rest of this game. <laughs> Give and take, back and forth, yeah. right? Crockwell with the ball down on the low block. Pass back out top to Cottrell. Back to number 32, no good. Rebound 42, Carter for the Indians. Again, great defense there by the Indians. Ahead to Miller. Back out to Carter. Carter for three. Woo! From behind. Just like that, Indians up by five. You You know, the defender gave him space, and I'm not sure why. Oh, what a move. Oh. Oh. (laughs) What a great reverse spin shot. How did he get that shot off? And then, I don't even know if he – We're going to see it here. Crockwell going to the baseline. Reverse shot. Look how high that was. And your – off the kiss with the kiss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they need to pay us money for having yeah. so much fun doing this, right? Dick Vitale would say, he's a diaper dandy, baby. Give him the ball. <laughs> don't, get, don't get me started on impressions. <laughs> 523 I, to go. Now you're going to have to talk. You I could be Bill Walton over here. <laughs> he says nothing. Get a T.O., baby. Get uh, a T.O. T.O., baby. <laughs> wow, what? 523 to go in the third. You know what? My wife's sitting at home watching this. She's, She's probably sitting sh- there shaking sh- her sh- head. That's exactly. <laughs> rolling her eyes. No hope for me in this world. <laughs> and you're dragging me right down the tubes That's with right. you. My, my. 39 <laughs> 36, your score. Indians on top by three. You know, Crockwell for the for the Lancers, has that, you know, swagger about him. Uh, and I have a feeling he's going to feel like he needs to take this game over himself. There's three off the mark. Good rebound there by the Lancers. 32 going up high to nab that rebound, as you mentioned, Earhart. Crockwell with the ball out top. Guarded by Miller. Both teams playing really a similar kind of offense. And just like that, we're tied up again. Earhart with a three. Five points one way, five points the other, and we're tied back up at 39 again. Both teams really playing a motion offense. A lot of cuts, a lot of screens. Carter feeling it. He decides not to. Probably a wise choice there as Rodgers played him a little tougher. Miller with the runner. Carter's there. Wow. And the putback. Carter with the putback. Back on top are the Indians. 41-39, your score. Crockwell to the paint. Shot block is the call. Carter again doing his best to try to get over there and slide over and get position. And that's the second time he's been called for a block this game. Again, I believe the correct call by the official on the play. The uh, defender a little late getting there. And a good young official in our district. Uh, coming out with a strong call on that play. Crockwell to the line to shoot the first shot. It is good. Just yeah, a little late was, getting there. Yeah, just a little late. Great call by the young if official. If he'd been there half a second earlier, that mm-hmm. probably would have went the other way. Brewster 4.03 will, to go here in the third. Brewster will take a seat for the Indians, and James will come in for him. Crockwell's shot no good. Rebound, Indians. Miller with the ball. Guarded by Crockwell. Haggy to the rack. Shot blocked. Nice Lancers block coming there by away with it. Nice block there by Ahart. Cottrell stop and pop a three. Good. Lancers back on top by two. That was all caused by the great defensive effort by Earhart. And there's more great defense there. Loose ball, ball on the, the floor. They're going to have a ball foul on the play. Cockrell going to get caught yeah. with a push on a loose ball. Again, even though the ball is loose on the floor, you cannot gain an advantage, disadvantage. On the, yeah, on the opposing player. On a loose player. ball situation. Yeah, yeah. You can't, 
can't try to force, uh, you know, an open area to dive in. You've got to. Oh, my land. Carter with oh, what an amazing shot by Carter for the Indians. Falling down, was able to throw that ball up off the miss by Miller. What a play, gets the bank, and then a quick turnover there by the Lancers, and now Brewster will check in for Haggy. You know, Brian, I've watched yeah. basketball around Southern Ohio pretty much all my life. I've refereed it for 30 years. I don't know that I've seen an atmosphere like this in a high school game right. for a long time. It's what we've seen here today. And like we've mentioned, you know, it's been a game of runs for these teams. Western had the hot hand coming out. Now they've went cold a little bit. Lancers with the put back. Back yep. on top by two. That was Smith there. He gets his eighth point of the night. 2.45 to go in the third. Indians win Witt with the ball out top. Back over to Carter. Good Went ball with an open movement. look three. Good ball movement. There. Oh, in and out. Man, didn't get the kiss that time. James has two fouls. He has to go off to watch here. Yep. I felt it coming. He is a scrappy yeah. young player. And the Indians are, are going to have a uh, pretty successful run here the next two or three years. Yeah. Haggy back in the game for the Indians. He'll be guarding Cottrell for the, for the Lancers. 2-10 to go in the third. Crockwell with the ball in the right wing. Shake and bake, shot up, no good. Rebound Haggy. Pass ahead to Brewster. Brewster over to Witt on the left wing. Pass under the basket to Carter. Back out top to Brewster for a three. No good. Rebound Lancers number 33. And that's Rogers. Crockwell's pass ahead. Oh, great ball Shot movement up, there. Pass good. No good. Very unselfish play by Earhart to get it over to Smith. Lancers on top by two now, Brian. And, um, well, as, as we've said, wow. this thing's going to go uh, gonna go probably going to go to the wire just it like sure the previous will. game. Brewster will pick up his first foul tonight, and Smith will be shooting too. And just as it was, you know, kind of lopsided there, Lancers committing a lot of fouls in the first half. It's been that way for the Indians here in the second half, four to one. Cuts are a nice looking player for the Lancers. Right. He's only a sophomore. Great ball handler, really good form at the line, and his jump shot really looks good for a young player. Second of, shot up is good. A lot of pressure to put on a sophomore to have to you know, run the, the team there from the point guard position, but he, he does it well. Brewster with the ball out top. It is not a no, it is not a hole, it's not a uh, carry. Shot goes up, no good. That's going to put Witt to the line. What yeah. people need to understand, they think just because a player dribbles the ball high right. over his head, as long as his hand stays on top of the ball, that is not a carry or a travel. Correct. Now, if his hand goes to the bottom of the ball and does that, obviously it's a carry. But as right. long as his hand stays on top, he's good to go. And that's the reason why the officials made the correct no call on that right. play. Witt the line to shoot. Two. First one is good. It's nine points for Witt tonight. I have tried to be an advocate that every season, you know, at, at the coaches' parents' meeting, mm -hmm. there needs to be a, you know, an official come in or somebody come in and kind of go over the rules with parents, especially the new ones that get instilled. Uh, you know, we don't have over the back anymore. Yeah, it's on you, the back. It's on the back. You know, <laughs> there's things that change, and and it's just it's you know. 
Things change, rules change. I know that. Fans don't understand the rules a lot of times. Right. And we've always said as officials, you need to have to take rule books and just throw them out in the crowd. Right. Hey, here, read this a while. <laughs> but then they get mad at you. <laughs> We're all tied up once Man, again. What a game. 46 apiece. End ends and Lancers going at it. Haggy's second shot puts the Indians back on top. And the Indians call a timeout with a one-point lead. They're going to burn a timeout here with Haggy. 126 yeah. to go here in the third. Haggy with nine points tonight, just an outstanding game. And again, Brian, we want to send a shout-out to our, to our sponsor today for all of today's action, APG Media of Ohio. Uh, again, we wanted to make this free, and they've done an outstanding job of uh, sponsor, sponsoring this program today. All day long basketball. We have two more games after this wow. one, Brian. Hopefully, you and I can hold up. Uh, maybe, you, maybe you can. I don't know about me or not, but anyhow, <laughs> I'll be I'll be here for you, brother. I want to thank our also our other guys that's here helping too at BMG Media. Yes, guys on the camera, Garris Carell on the um, production side of things. It's a team effort to be able to it is. pull off something like this. It is, so. and it's been going very, rather smoothly today. Yeah. Knock on yeah. plastic here. Yeah. Um, 126 to go in the third. We have a barn burner once again this second game here at Wellston High School. Coach Jim Darrow Court. i got to give a shout-out to the uh, to the cheer blocks of each school. They've done a very good job tonight of uh, cheering for their team, not being arrogant or rude to yes. the other opposing squad. You know, you're always going to have that. You can't do that. You know, you're going to have that. And I'm not talking about that, but, the, you know, this year it's been over the top. Some of the uh, things that's come out of some schools, cheer blocks <laughs> this year. Yes. Cotter with the ball inbounds for the Lancers. Here Ahead comes the full court Cockwell. press here from the, uh, from the Indians. The Lancers move the ball very, very well. They do. Yeah, normally Western will press pretty much a lot of the entirety of a game, but they haven't done that. And it's because they've been able to. The Lancers have done a great job breaking that any time they've tried to do that. Crockwell drives to the paint, reverse spin, pack back out to Rogers. Rogers on over to number two, I believe, Smith. Back out to Cotter, the young sophomore point guard for the Lancers. Again, a little bit more methodical on the on the uh, offense here. 45 seconds to go in the third. Indians on top hmm. by one. Crockwell with the ball for the Lancers. Crossover dribble, yeah, drives he wants the paint, it. and going to be tapped out. Fischl had a great look yeah, he at did. it from his, from his point of view. Croc Crockwell wanted a foul. There ain't no need to argue that. We'll take a look at it here real quick. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he might have an argument. Yeah, he might have one. <laughs> we have a foul on the play. Yeah. There'll be a two-shot foul there for Rodgers. And they'll call that on 30 Noah Witt. It'll be his first foul tonight. Perfect example of the official calling that play, ball in the gather, going up for two. Right. He was in the act of shooting, and he goes to the line for two. So Rogers is going to shoot two here with 36 seconds left to go in the third. First shot up. It is good. That's only Rogers' third point tonight. Definitely the a nice presence on the inside. But Carter for the Indians has done a great job against him underneath. But really the. The Lancers offense really doesn't, uh, you know, highlight an interior player, does it? I mean, they've got him out on the elbow. They've yeah. got him. Western fans upset with that call. Brian, you know, the, you know Coach Williams uh, for, for Western. How long has he been there? I want to say I know he's been there as long – uh, at least five, six years, maybe. Okay. So he's got some things established. His program right. going the way that he would like for it too. Fifteen seconds to go in the third. All the coaches received new haircuts after the sectional win. Nice pass from Witt into Miller. Miller and um, Crockwell exchanging some pleasantries. I'm not an. I'm not a. I've never been an advocate of uh, of players being vocal. Yes, I, I agree. I, I agree. I'm old school on that, but it's <laughs> unfortunately you watch the upper echelon players uh -huh. even now. Into 
I mean, I can't watch a professional game anymore. It makes me <laughs> sick. But college level, it's starting to get in there uh -huh. too, and yep. it's just uncalled for. You just just play the game. We want to thank again our sponsors, APG Media of Ohio. Always want to take time to do that. Thank you. We've received so many comments from our, our stream this afternoon, and uh, thank you for all those that are watching, unable to make it to the uh, to the games. We realize it's a uh, family of four coming to a, yep. if you bought a ticket ahead of time, that's $32 yes, just to sir. get into this place, not including food. If you want to watch games all day. And some of, some so, of them are. And so and that's the reason why this was established. Right. Actually, uh, Michael Gray, my son-in-law, started this two years ago when COVID hit the football season. Right. And he said, you know, we really want to do something for the people that, the, the grandparents and parents that can't get out because yep. they were in a limited amount of fans in the stands. And so we just started doing this. And, man, the, 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 the donations and sponsorship came yes. in and just been going gangbusters ever since. We've, we, we experienced the same thing at Northwest. I, I was able to start Mohawk Media with a few other guys, and the sponsors came in right away. Didn't even have to ask for yep. them. And, it, you know, the schools have been able to supply us with the equipment we need. We've got the nice huddle cameras, the uh -huh. nice system there. So now we've got a huddle camera on our football field, so we're able to utilize that this, this fall. So it's just a great asset, and, and they've embraced it, and which has been very good. Nice rebound by Carter. Carter's just, I, we keep calling his name, but it's, it's, he needs to be. He's playing a great game. He really has played a great game. Indians up by two, 49-47 with 7.30 to go in this one. And Carter has a tendency, uh, we've seen him play a lot this year, has a tendency to kind of lose control of his emotions, and he's done a great job at uh, maintaining that. It's, it's been really chippy, a lot of, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of uh, communication yep. back and forth yep. between players, and it can get out of hand real, real easy. So mm. Miller to no. the rack. Miller coming alive here in the second half. He's got 13. Four-point ball game. Indians on top of the Lancers. Crockwell with the ball for the Lancers out top, guarded by Miller. Cottrell drives to the paint. Nope, that's Smith. I'm sorry. They look, they look alike. They do look alike. <laughs> we know who Crockwell is. For sure. Rogers out top. Over to Cottrell. Back over to Smith on the right wing. Smith back out top to Rogers, over to Crockwell. Three-point shot, no good. Rebound, Rogers. Pass inside to number 32. That is Earhart. Three-point goal by That was Cottrell. Cottrell. You just made mention of last quarter, a nice-looking form he's got, and that, that brought some rain. He was able to get, get through. <laughs> One-point lead for the Western Indians. Boy, number number eleven Hager for the uh, Haggy, yep. Haggy for the uh, Indians. Just a really good-looking player. Really good-looking player for the Indians. Crockwell's going to get a foul call on him. He he didn't like it. He's not allowed to leave the court either until he's. I don't believe. Yeah, until he's beckoned, but he did. Okay, good. So uh, number 23, Gage McVee will come in for him. Good opportunity here for the Indians to, while you know, Crockwell's out. And as you can, as you can sense, yeah. again, as, as it gets closer to the end of the game and as close as the score is, both teams are getting a little chippy here. Right. And the officials stepping up their game right along with it. Yep. And Haggy with a nice steal. Makes up for the foul call there. He's got 11. Good timeout there by, by uh, Smith, uh, by Cottrell. That was going to be a five-second violation. He did the right, right thing there. As we see the replay by Haggy taking it inside. Three-point lead for the Indians. Haggy has been very impressive. It, I mean, it's you he, know, he's always a great athlete, great play, basketball is, yeah. player. And then when you when you mention that he's a freshman, it's like yeah. wow. Yeah, he definitely has. Uh, you know, I, I noticed something, especially a lot of younger players. 
you got the kid, young kid from Memphis, um, you know, Miles Miles Monroe, um, Montgomery. Thank you. I, I, I would call him Monroe. Miles Montgomery, freshman. A uh, lot of a uh, lot of excitement about him, and he is just. You know, he can drop 35 mm-hmm. with no problem. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, but a lot of these guys play in the off season. They play, they you know, the extra leagues. A lot of travel ball. And you know, a lot of that, you know, you can say what you want about AAU if you like it or don't like it. I think it's kind of getting out of hand myself. But <laughs> and it's not teaching good basketball fundamentals. I agree. I agree. But what it is doing, you get extra reps, you get mm-hmm. extra practice, you're in the court, you're doing something. Yes. And in yes. games like these, I mean, you're playing elite, some elite players in those tournaments. And kids today aren't scared it like they used to be. Nice pass. Rogers with the put in. Man. Back to a one-point game, 5.30 to go. Mm. Nice look inside to Rogers. Indians on top by one over the Lancers. To the rack shot. A foul on the play. See who the... Call that on. Could have been a couple of players there. Looks like Haggy's going to go to the line to shoot two. Fouls are very even on the board. Yep. Six to five are the yep. fouls on the board. Rogers will pick up his third foul. Haggy's first shot is good. That'll make him 12 on the night so far. 5.17 to go in the ball game. Second shot. It is good. Back to a three-point ball game. 5.17 to go. Cottrell with the ball for the Lancers. Guarded by Haggy at half court. Earhart drives to the paint. Going to turn it over. Mm. Thought his player was going to keep coming on the baseline, yeah. and he stopped. Just so, a little bit of miscommunication. It was the right idea, but the um, number 23, McVeigh there, did not complete the um, the cut to the basket. Crockwell yeah. back in the game yeah. for the Lancers. Yeah, he wasn't going to stay out long with, with less than five minutes left in this contest. Miller passes over to what well, goes down in the paint now to number 42. Shot is up. Okay. We'll take a look at this one, instant replay. Mm. Tough call. Tough call, 4.45 to go. Yeah. I don't. Carter called for a personal foul, offensive foul. Three-point ball game, 4.40 to go in this one. That's his third foul tonight. Cottrell with the ball out top. Guarded by Haggy. And a good call there. Yeah. Yeah, he was there plenty of time that time. Yep, that was an easy one. That was an easy call. As you can tell, play yeah. develop here. Oh, boom. yeah, he was. Yeah, that was easy. Anytime you're ever able to get your hands across your midsection there, you, you got plenty of time. As you can tell, the Fed Hawk fans did not stand up in, <laughs> in irate fashion. So, again, the referees have stepped up and. Tighten this game up as well on their calls. So we're every every play down the court is crucial. Crockwell trying to make the guard. Going to be a foul and score. Rogers going to pick up his fourth. Yeah, that was a pretty hard foul. And again, if yeah. you're going to foul somebody, you want to try to keep him from scoring. But unfortunately, that, he wasn't able to stop him on that play. That's all Miller. That's all Miller on that one. You know, he was able to get around Crockwell. Crockwell kind of stopped on D there. And, and just kind of let him go past him, and then Rodgers had to come over out of position. And I'm telling you, you cannot take a second off in these district games. Five-point lead. Now six. Miller with 16 points, and there's a timeout. Good timeout by Coach Williams there. Biggest lead by either team, Brian, on the night. Six points, one way or the other. And uh, this thing is still a very Ooh. interesting ball game with, five, with 4.15 to go here. And game two 
here at Wilson High School. Coach Jim Darrow Court. It's the Western Indians on top of the Federal Hucking Lancers, 58 to 52. Brian Bear and I'm Bub Norris bringing you all of your action all day long here today. You'll want to be sure and tune back in with us again in game three, and it will start, I'm going to anticipate, roughly uh, probably somewhere around 6 o'clock, I am guessing. Uh, is that? Oh, yeah. They okay, always start three. them on they, – they don't start them early, do they? No. No. So, it, well, I mean, with the crowd we have here, it takes them – They'll clear the gymnasium while to get, yeah. again, and we'll go – and we'll start game three here. And who do we have for game three? A loss South line. Webster versus Valley Indians. Oh, yeah. It's going to so, be. Man. That ought to be a shootout. It will be. That's <laughs> two teams that know each other well. <laughs> Crockwell with the ball up top. Shoots a three. No good. Gets his own rebound. Going to pass it inside the paint. Turnover. Indians come away with it. Miller with the ball, passes out to Witt. Witt backs his man out. Good patience 45 to go. Good patience by the Indians. Out top to Brewster. Brewster over to Haggy. Inside the Witt shot, scored, no. Nice block. That was Earhart coming in from behind. Good timing. Smith to the rack, shot. We get a foul. Yep. It could be on Noah Witt. As it will be on Noah Witt. That'll be his second. Again, we – how can you say there's good fouls? Well, that's a good foul. Clean foul, but then also sends into the line to earn these two. You have some uh, – Perspiration. Perspiration yeah. on the floor. 3.31 to go here in this one. Really, Colton Miller stepped up here, his game in the fourth quarter for the Indians. It's It's been uh, – it's been a team effort for the Western Indians today. The only one that we haven't heard from is Reed Brewster. Reed, Reed has been the quarterback on the court, and, mm -hmm. you know, the Lancers have really shut him down. Normally he'll, he'll get you, you know, nine, ten points a game from behind the arc. Smith's first shot is good. Against Miller, the Western Indians lit it up from behind the arc. They probably... Yeah, well, probably 60% of their, their points was from three-point range. And today it's been a totally different ballgame. Smith's second shot. Nothing but the bottom of the net. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. 58-54. Indians on top. Brewster with the ball out top. Leggy West with him. Yeah. Western doesn't need to panic. Just need to play... What we got here? Crockwell again? Yes. That'll be one and one. That's going to be Crockwell's fourth, and that is detrimental Critical. for the Lancers. Critical. Yeah, and that's what happens in high yeah. school. Sometimes you'll see players uh, get a little chippy with each other in the game, and, and that's mm -hmm. exactly what happened. Uh, yeah. you, know, you have a close game. Now, now coach from, from uh, Federal Hawking is – is talking to the young man, trying to say, hey, look, we need you in this game. Three minutes to go. we got to have you on the court. Right. And great players rise to the occasion. Great players take it personal and elevate themselves. How many times have we seen, you know, the GOAT, Michael Jordan, say, you know, all he had to do was say this to me, and that was sure. it. <laughs> yes. Miller uh, sticks to him. Make He's it, got 18. Wow. Make it 60 to 54. Western Indians on top of six. And the clock is their friend. They wish it was at least about a minute left. Smith with a shot. Nice. It is good. Man, Fred what Ox a player. Nice players. He's a senior as well. 6'3 senior. Great player. He might have patted the uh, program on that height, but that's all right. Haggy to the paint. <laughs> shot goes up by Carter. No good. Rebound Federal Hawking. Yep. Earhart with a great rebound there. Four-point game, 2.40 oh, to go. Oh, what a move. Oh, he... Three-point look, it is in the air. No good. Rebound. Indians. Nice rebound by Carter. We've had two true tremendous games. <laughs> Sorry, uh, we've had yeah two tremendous games. We have. The play by Haggy and Carter from the Western Indians has, has been the, 
the difference for the Indians today. I agree. Today. I agree. Yes, Normally, sir. You're, you know, you're Brewster. There's a steal by Crockwell. Two-point ball game with two minutes to go. Remind me of something. There's score. Miller. Remind me to tell you something here. Okay. At, the, at timeout. <laughs> 20 points for Miller. Minute 50. Woo. Four-point game. Crockwell shot. No good. Rebound. Carter. Carter kicks it ahead to Witt. Witt over to Haggy. Haggy back out to Brewster. Over to Witt. Back out top to Miller. Miller guarded by Crockwell. Inside to Witt. Shot up. Gets. I was going to say. <laughs> Must have had him on the body. Well, it looked like you hit him in the back of the head. Okay, can we went up? Can we replay back? Not not replay it, uh, Garris. I don't need a replay, but when Crockwell came down here, the previous play mm -hmm. did the up and under behind. Mm -hmm. Was there really a need for that? That's what I'm trying to say. I mean, could he have just went straight in? Maybe tried to draw the foul. It was pretty. And he's got the moves. There's no doubt about it. But sometimes I think kids just do a little bit extra. And they really don't need to. Does that make sense? Am I, am I? And see, I don't like that either. I know you guys can't see it on your screen there, but don't worry about talking to people on the court. Just play your game. I'm sorry. I'm getting a little. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not being a good announcer here. <laughs> Rebound, Indians. Minute 14 to go. Can you feel the Miller intensity with the ball. switching in this game? Steal, Lancer. Wow. Crockwell with a layup and score. I'm telling you, Crockwell better keep his mouth closed or he's going to get a technical on him. That was a great play by him, a great lay-in. Look at this replay. There he is, nice and easy lay-in, sure, nice not, control. Not sure he was wanting to foul on the play. Yeah, he was wanting to foul, but I didn't, didn't see a foul. So a three-point game here. Both teams in the go. bonus. 103 Ooh. to go, and we have a barn burner just Man. like the first game. This, I'm telling you. Here tonight. It's what we expected. Again, now let's what talk about real quick, Brian. Okay, I'm sorry. We have officials. Yeah, what okay, are they, what are they saying? At this point in the bar game, we, these guys are down there discussing, okay, we've got X amount of timeouts coming out. Possession arrow is going to be to Western. Uh, we have uh, three timeouts to one timeout. And both teams are actually in the bonus. So whoever fouls, no really no right. point for, for Federal Hawking to start fouling just yet. No. But uh, three-point ball game, I mean, you're a one possession, one to two possession game right, right here. No, really no reason, as you mentioned before, for Federal Hawking to panic at this point. No. Time. And they really don't need a three-pointer. You know, the, uh, Crockwell's had an excellent game. He's got 17 points leading all scores for the Lancers. But he's taken a couple shots here in the fourth quarter. It's been kind of forced and really didn't need it. And they don't need a three-point here. But here they come out with a uh, full-court press. Full-court press. Trying Actually, to it looks like a one-two-two two yeah, zone one, two. press. Yeah. And the easiest thing to do here, just take it right there. That's all you got to do to break it. And there you go. Lost the handle and a turnover there. Haggy looked great until he got right. right in front of his bench and then they lost it. Yeah. 57 seconds to go, three-point game. And that was a great job by Earhart to use the out-of-bounds line as your extra defender. And now the Lancers faithful are on their feet. Everyone's on their feet. I'm going to stand up. <laughs> <laughs> Can't stand it, can I you, know preacher? It. Woo! 42 seconds, shot in the air. Crockwell shot no good, gets his own wrong rebound. Back out, Smith's going to shoot a three. No good. Rebound. Lancers. Rogers, yeah. Less than 30. Yeah, he walked. He tried to get position with his left arm. And he then when he did, he, yeah. Great defense by Brewster. 24 seconds to go. Timeout called by Coach Williams. They're going to draw up a better plan here to break this press. So, again, let's talk about situations okay. here at this point in the game, Brian, as we have 24 seconds left to go. Um, Western has two timeouts to give. Federal Hawking has one timeout to give. And now you have to foul as soon as the ball is put in play. Right. 
So Western has the ball coming out. Federal Hawking has to foul immediately to have any hopes now with 24 right. seconds to go. And hopefully that they're hoping that Western, when they go to the line at the other end, right. misses the free throw. Uh, if they do, then obviously we're, they're right in the ball game. The next foul will put a two-shot double bonus situation for the Indians. So look for the Indians to either get an inbounds. Well, I, really to be honest, normally, <laughs> in normal situations, any one of them do great at the foul yes. line. Yep. So, but look for them to maybe focus on Witt mm-hmm. or maybe Miller. Maybe the, yep. the coldest one of all tonight, maybe <laughs> Brewster, just because <laughs> he's he scored, scored yet tonight. Uh, one no, point. he has not. No, he hasn't scored. He's got one foul, yeah. And that's uncharacteristic, but the other things that he's done, you got to have him on that. I mean, he's, he's your quarterback Absolutely. on the court. So a lot of times those point guards – in the scores book may not have the points but you got to have them i don't know that he's got any turnovers tonight and that's quite impressive with the uh, great aggressive d there's i'm not sure whether or not fouling here Brewster maybe with look, the ball waiting to get half court maybe you got to foul answer. right you have to absolutely i'm not sure i mean that 10 seconds came off the clock there I figured you would at least foul. Cottrell, that's going to be his fifth foul. Yeah. Man, I don't know. That's going to put 23 back in the game for the Lancers. McVeigh. Advantage Western here with Witt on the line. He's got 11 points tonight. Hmm. 16 seconds to go. Witt goes to the line to shoot the front end of a one-on-one. Actually, he's got two point, two of them. They're in the double bonus. Okay, I see that. Yeah. Puts the Indians up by four. Now it makes it a lot more difficult for the Lancers now. Went so to the what, line to shoot his yeah. second shot. Western has two timeouts. Missed that one. Lancers nope. have got to push it up the floor and yeah. score. Need a quick, quick uh, shot here. Three-point shot from the corner. No good. Rebound, Haggy, foul, Lancers with seven seconds to go. Mm. So the Indians are going to send all their players back and rely on Haggy here to try to put this game out of reach with seven seconds left. He'll go to the line, Haggy, with a sensation. We've called his name out several all times. Long. Freshman Drew Haggy with 13 points. Now, what are you doing as an official? Uh, as I see him communicating with each other. As an official, he stays back with the deepest player. Right. And he watches all of these kids. The center official over here, he watches everybody in the center of the court. And then the trail official at the other end, he has those players. So what they'll be doing with seven seconds left to go in the game is obviously you're watching three-point shooters. Right. Making sure the feet is not on the line on the three-point shot, but obviously has to be clear behind the line in this situation. And Western does not want to foul. Six-point game. And that'll do it. That'll do it. So the Western Indians are moving on. Woo! What a game. Final score, 66-60. to Western Indians defeat the Federal Hawking Lancers, much like the previous game, wow. Brian. Uh, went to the wire. Come this one did as well. Six-point game, but that was not any. In, that's not indicative no, of how no. close this game really was. Free it throws at right the end the of the wire. game expanded that lead. Just a few seconds ago, it was only three points. So yes, sir. It was a one-possession game, and the Western Indians will go to the district finals, and they'll be going up against the number one seed, the Trimble. That will, be a match up. What a, that will be a oh matchup. What a matchup to watch. Is, so that, folks, is that coming back here next it week? It will come back here next Saturday, we believe, mm. uh, right back here at Wilson High School. So, folks, we are going to take a break in the action here. We have to recharge our batteries once again. Yeah. Uh, literally the batteries literally. and then my battery as well. Oh, my. So, <laughs> Great so uh, the, the Western Indians come out on top 66-60. to 60 over the Federal Hawking Lancers. Folks, we will be back here 
at the beginning of the next ball game. Stay tuned with us, will you please?